Alright, hello everybody, and today we're going to be integrating the function secant of x. And the method I'm going to be using today is just going to be finding some kinds of patterns in the derivative of this function and some other functions. So let's take secant of x first of all. And a nice function that usually goes along well with secant of x is actually the function tangent of x. And let's actually differentiate in both of these functions. So if you differentiate secant of x, what you're going to get is a secant of x times the tangent of x. And if you differentiate the tangent of x, you're going to get the secant squared of x. And notice one cool thing about these two derivatives right here. They both have a common factor of secant of x. So it would be nice if we can kind of factor that out somehow. But in order to factor things, we need these two things to be added together. So why not just add them together? And if we add this, why not add the top as well? So this line right here is the derivative of the top line right here. And that's actually called a top line something. Let's call it, let's say, y, for example. So this bottom line right here, this line right here is y prime, which is the derivative of y. So y, just to be clear, is a function of x. Let's just put that in as well. So y prime is equal to this thing right here. So as I said before, we have a common factor of secant of x. So why not factor that out? So we have secant of x times the tangent of x plus the secant of x. So this thing right here is still y prime of x. And notice one cool thing. We have secant of x, but what's more interesting is this part right here. We have tangent plus secant. And isn't that just our original y of x, secant plus tangent, just the other way around? So we can actually rewrite this as y prime of x being equal to secant of x times y of x. So this thing right here is still y of x. And remember, we wanted to integrate secant of x. So I want to actually just isolate the secant right here. So if we isolate our secants, we're going to have secant of x being equal to y prime of x divided by y of x. And this thing right here, this y prime over y is actually very useful. Because if you know a couple things about some integration properties, you'll know that this function in this form right here is a very easy to integrate. And the nice thing is we wanted to integrate a secant at the very start. So integrating secant with respect to x is the same thing as integrating this y prime over y with respect to x. And what does this thing evaluate to exactly? It's actually going to evaluate to the natural log of y. And you can prove that quite easily if you just do a little u substitution so that u be equal to y of x. And that means du is the derivative of y, so y prime of x dx. And notice this part right here is exactly this whole entire top part. So this thing is the integral of y prime of x times dx, which is du, as we said here divided by u and this is just the natural log of u but u was y of x so we have the natural log of y of x so that's the reason why an integral in this form right here is really nice to evaluate so what did we just find right here we found that the integral of the secant of x dx evaluates to the natural log of y right here so the natural log of the absolute value of y. But what exactly is y? Remember we said y was secant of x plus tangent of x. So you have secant of x plus the tangent of x. And then we're done. So just put down a plus c. And that is the answer for our integral.